all right as y'all know i've been having this grow what uh soc problem then i moved around took my uh ground bond neutrals out of these i ran my inverters basically for 18 months and i only had l1 and l2 connected on it never had the ground hooked up so eventually i talked to citrus solar trying to make sure i had everything hooked up right they told me to take the ground bond screw out of all the inverters and i made sure i had the ground neutral bond you know in my panel then i hooked up the, the ground from the ac output ever since then i've been having a problem with this inverter besides the soc problem which i wanted to get fixed anyway so i went on ahead see i ordered another inverter and we're going to see if that this is going to fix the soc problem and my other problem i was having with the uh, ground bond neutral stuff so basically the problem i was having i was getting a uh, it, it seems like it's a short or something a zero seven fault ever since i've took the ground bond neutral out i even tried to put it back in and still had the same problem and my only guess is that the maybe possibly when i turn everything off maybe a pre-charged resistor in the eg4 batteries uh you know i'm not sure if that when you turn it on it kind of mess something up or i have no idea or if when i move the cables in here i might have messed something up so it might have been my fault and they would have covered it under warranty but i drilled out three quarter inch holes in the bottom instead of putting a half inch conduit because i don't think the battery cables would even fit through that anyway we're going to try it with this new one to see if the battery cables even fit through there i don't even think they'll fit through the half inch uh, conduit so i drilled out the three quarter inch just in the little part right here and it's considered modifying the inverter so just make sure you don't modify your inverters anyway if you want it to be covered by warranty. That's just my fault. It's not Signature Solar's fault, of course, because I guess I should have followed uh, uh, the instructions on uh, for the warranty for the inverters, and I didn't. So let's go ahead and take this one apart, put the new one in, see if the SOC works, and you know, it might take a few days for that, but we'll see if it initially works. If it works up throughout three or four or five, six days, it's probably gonna be good to go. But sometimes it will work for two or three days and then it would freeze up at night and just get stuck and you know it would be showing 99 percent on here or 40 percent or 70 percent and the actual batteries when you hook a pc up to it would be totally different so i think it may have been just a communication board problem which is the board right here we don't know for sure we tried a lot of different troubleshooting so i did get a lot of support from ty from signature solar uh, tech support so i'd like to thank him for all the emails back and forth i know some people have definitely had problems getting signature solar to respond in a timely manner all right let's go ahead and take this thing out I'm gonna go ahead and turn the batteries on, uh, pre-charge the inverters, and turn them on and do some testing on number one here. All right, got the battery, one battery on. Nothing blew up so far. Go ahead and hit the on button. See what we got. Oh my goodness, I hate them alarms. So we're gonna, to, we're gonna have to get all that set where the thing does an alarm, of course. But right now, still coming on, no faults yet. It is, it is making a buzzing sound. Let's just get this inverter completely set up, put it on 240, 60 hertz, get it set up in parallel and then we'll worry about any noise or anything we're hearing. All right, it's saying it's, it's outputting a voltage. It's making a slight beeping sound. So could it possibly be some way I got something hooked up? I guess it could. So we're gonna check the voltage on the panel and just see what we got here. And we're going to number one. Two hundred and forty volts. All right, we went on ahead and turned the auto transformer on, and make sure all my other breakers are off. And we'll go ahead and turn number one on. I'm about to turn everything off. Check all the wiring. Maybe somehow these wires did get flipped around, but it looks like it's uh, exactly the same way I had it before. So maybe that's what was going on with my other one. 
So let me check everything out. All right. Basically, I got all the AC outputs. This the only thing that's hooked up is the battery and the and the solar. But my, of course, my solar switches off. So there's no solar coming in. Still making that buzzing sound. I wonder what's gonna happen when I turn this inverter on. Cause the only thing that's connected is like the communication cables and the parallel cables. So let's just let's, let's just see if that causes some kind of fault. See how it's using 27% power or whatever. Definitely something. Definitely not quite right. All right, now no buzzing sound. The last thing I disconnected was the PV wires. So maybe it has something to do with my filter or something's backwards on that. I have no idea. But right now the inverter, like all the other ones. So I am gonna try to hook everything back up and try to figure out what's going on with the PV. Try to see if that is backwards or something or something to do with the something to do with this filter I have. I have no idea. But right now, the inverter's not making the sound with the PV wire disconnected, even with the switch off. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But let's do some more troubleshooting. All right, so I got the PV disconnected. That is what the buzzing sound was coming from. So I'm not sure if it was my filter here that I had. I'm gonna try to hook up just a straight cable from the PV to, to test it after I test everything to make sure it's all working without this connected. I still have PV going to my second one over here. My first one doesn't have any. Third one has never had any. Turn on the breaker box. I got my auto transformer on. Let's turn on number one. Now we have no crazy buzzing sound. Auto transformer's on. Let's see if the power works. Surf sector showing power. Plug showing protective power. So inverter number one is working. All right, number two is on. Let's go ahead and turn the breaker for number two. Make sure it's all good. So the breaker for number two is, I think is this one. We'll go ahead and turn the two and three on. Inverter number three is on. All the breakers are on, everything's good. I'm actually gonna start my car charging, make sure everything works. So I'll just turn the breaker on for my EV charger. And let's see if we start kicking out some power, which that was kicking out 30%, 25% and 21. So it all seems to be working. But at least right now, everything is kicking out power. So I am happy. You can see I hooked the PV wire back up. Just a straight wire to my switch down here. Everything's a mess, I've been working. Everything straight to my switch. And it's not on, but there's no buzzing. Even before with the thing off, there was a buzzing. So I guess it was because of this filter. Maybe I need to ground it properly. I'm not sure. The other one's the exact same way and it's not having that problem, so I don't know what's going on. I'm hooking this thing up to the batteries and do the battery communication and see for several days if it works. And if it does, I'll update you on that and let you know in the next video or if I'm having a problem. Because if this fixes it, it's probably the whole time, it's probably just the communication board. I probably just should try to get one of those. And if you're interested in these inverters, the prices have really dropped on these since I bought my first one. I think my first one might've been eight or $900. And I think now they're, it might be $700 or 600 or something. I just bought that one, I can't remember. They work uh, pretty good for the price. There are a lot better inverters now, but the price is a lot higher. I like that EG4 that just came out, the 18K or whatever. And I'm definitely gonna try one of those in the future. It's between that and trying some Victrons just to do some testing and see how it works. And I can always use these grow watts on a different project or for somebody else's house, hook up somebody else with some solar if they want to do that. So this whole time, my problem with <laughs> this stuff has probably been me, not an expert, hey, just still learning and uh, trying to figure stuff out. But basically how I did my troubleshooting, if you're interested in that is, I disconnected one thing at a time until that buzzing stopped with the, with the grow watt. So I disconnected the, the, the neutral, I mean the ground coming off the AC output of it. 
then the line one, line two disconnected that. Then I did the communications cables, parallel cables. I changed from parallel to a single inverter, just trying to see w at what point it would stop. And then when I disconnected the, the PV in, even though the switch was off, the problem went away. So that's why I figured the only thing in between my, uh, my switch and the inverter on that PV line is my little filter. So I took disconnected that, hooked the wire straight up, bam, problem solved. And hey, now I gotta work on this next problem with the SOC. I'm gonna hook it up, maybe it just works and maybe this is solved too. But if you like this kind of video, hey, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and thanks for watching.